The complex twist is not only for buggers. I want to catch a fish this time. Look at this. Look at how this moves. This is awesome. This is ostrich. It also breaks. You guys know the Ray Charles pattern. We're going to show you how to complex twist a sow bug that crushes fish. Okay, this is a cool pattern that I've been playing with just recently, but fished it and it, it did really well. So everybody loves sow bugs. Everybody loves the Ray Charles. And this is just a really simple sow bug that's tied in the round. So it doesn't matter what angle the fish sees it, it's going to look the same. Really basic material. So I've got, this one's designed to be oversized with a really big bead. So I'm just gonna put my thread on there and then just kind of pinch the bead up toward the eye and build up a little bit of thread behind it. So that will lock that bead in place. I think this is a 16 with a 3.5 mil bead on it. You could do it with a bigger bead and a, uh, a bigger hook or just a smaller bead, same hook, whatever. So in the Euro game, it's, it's important to have you know, a bunch of different sizes of beads, a bunch of different sizes of hooks. So the body on this one is really simple. I'm just going to take two pieces of ostrich and as you can see, the gray filaments are a little bit bigger than the tan filaments. And I'm okay with that. I, I think it kind of creates a cool profile with this. Um, but if they were the same size, it would, it would give a really cool effect as well. So first things first, I'm going to tie in some red wire. And that's going to be the core of this fly. And then I'm going to take the, the, the ostrich hurls and tie them in by the tips. So I'm going to take those cut them flush, and then just tie those in by the tips. Um, it's important that you tie them in by the tips because the stems on the base of these are a little bit thicker than you want. So you just want to have thin stems. It'll twist up nice. And from here, I'm just going to grab my gator grip tool, and I'm going to wrap this around the teeth it's kind of kind of hard to show on camera but that that will allow me to grab the wire and the the hurls and I'm just going to trim those off so if you can see the the tooth that's that's what it looks like hopefully I don't screw this up because I did that and then I'm just going to twist those up kind of gently So as you can see, it makes a little brush out of ostrich. And I'm just going to use the rotary feature on the vise to wrap that forward. And I'm going to give it a few extra wraps right at the head. And that creates a really durable body. So once I have it here, I'm just going to trim that out of there. If you have nice scissors, keep in mind, you are cutting wire. And then this watery olive thread that I have does a really good job of fluorescing. So I'm just going to use that to, to build up a little bit of a hot spot. So from there, all you do is whip finish, trim off, and fish it hard. Super simple, yet super effective.